Hello friends, today we like to design a program to check given year is a leap or not, but we do not use if else or conditional operator to achieve it. So see how we can code it. I am using code blocks, but you can also use turbo compiler. First we are asking user to enter a year. Now when we use if else we like like this. Here I am considering normal years. A normal year is leap if it is divisible by 4. Otherwise non-leap. But we have to design the program without using if else. So I am removing if from this logic and here I am using end operator. Now whenever condition is true it executes this part. But if condition is false we like to execute this part. Program is ready, compile it and execute it. First I am giving 2016, it's a leap year. Now 2019, it is no leap year. Now how it is working? This is known as Shaw circuit end. Whenever the condition is true, it will execute the next expression. But if the condition is false, it will not execute the next expression. Similarly, this is short circuited OR. If the condition is false, it will check the next expression. If condition is true, it will not check the next expression. In our example, if year is divisible by 4, it says it's a leap year, like this. But if the condition is false, this whole expression get ignored. And now OR operator will work. So it says it's a null leap year. Now we have to improve this code for centuries also. So I am introducing some more conditions. If year is not divisible by 100 but divisible by 4, so it's a leap year. Similarly, if year is divisible by 100, and also divisible by 400 we can say it's a leap year but if both the condition fails we like to print it's a non leap year now compile it and we can improve some message here we can say normal year normal leap year and here we can say century leap. Now we are compiling again. OK and run. First 2016. It's a normal leap year. Year 2000. It's a century leap year. Similarly, 2000. 19 it's a non leap year and year 1700 it's non leap year so friends we have seen how we can design a leap year program without using if else or conditional operator thanks